So in this video, we are going to explore Watson X APIs. So I will close other tabs and start from the beginning. So when you log in at cloud.ibm.com, I have a light account with my personal ID. I will find it here, Watson X. We need to open two things here. One is this link, Watson AI. And open it a new tab and this launch button. Okay, this has uh, chatting uh, from chat, like just like chat GPT, we can ask something and get some uh, response. Same thing we will be doing using API. So if I go to documentation, here you will find Watson X APIs, test APIs. Access token. So here you can see uh, they have this curl request that you can use to generate a token. This requires an API key. I have already prepared this in uh, my Postman. So you can see uh, this post URL slide into slash token I placed here. Then content type application slash this one I provided in the header portion. So if I go to this. This one content type is in the end. I provide that value. If I expand it, this one. Okay, others are coming directly from Postman. So going back to the body. This body is this hyphen D part data. Without the code, you can paste till this part. And this API key, we'll need an actual API key. So for that, you can go to manage, access IAM. API keys. And here you can go create and you'll be able to create a new one. Okay. So once you have pasted this, replace your API key with the actual one. And if you hit this, you'll get access token in the response. This you have to use for remaining other things. Okay, so what I will do, I'll go to this chat one. And I write something. So it is generating the HTML response. Okay. Uh, now if you click on this one view code, you'll be able to see the curl request that it made for getting this. So I'll copy this first in notepad and then we'll try to do it using Postman. So this is it. So see, it is doing a curl request to this API. I will copy this and create a new. Okay, and uh, this is a get request, not a no, no, it's a post request. There's a data here. The content type is application slash JSON. Accepts application slash JSON. So I'll change these headers. Uh, these are got copied from some another, I think. I'll remove these. Content type application slash JSON is correct. Accepts also application slash JSON. So 
Okay, this is not any editable because uh, this is coming from by uh, postman. So I'll leave it as it is and then authorization. Save this authorization. Here are token. Provide the token what came in this response. Yes, save. And the body, we have to paste this prompt and notice. Uh, in the prompt, it adds few more things. Like you always answer the question with the markdown formatting, GitHub syntax. These are some ethics kind of things. Okay, let's try with just an input and whatever text we want to give. So input and the prompt that I gave, which was yeah, this one, write an HTML code. And okay, apart from input, it also has these values. So I will have to copy those also. So let me copy input first. Then I need to have parameters and these other things. Okay. And see, we got the response. Here is an example of HTML code for home page of a chat application. It gave me this one. This is new random slash t. Uh, these we can uh, remove in a web application and replace with actual slash line character. New line character. We will be seeing similar response how we saw in the chat application. Okay, now yeah, I think that's it for this video. I will stop this now.